Hello guys, good morning. Today's topic of uh, discussion is H02.11 MACADA and uh, in detail of uh, frame control field. So here are the contents. First we will look into the introduction. Then what is MACADA? What is your wireless frame? What are the contents of that? Then how does the egg frame behaves and uh, detailed fields of frame control and uh, its subfields. So as you know the MAC header is nothing but the media access control header. So this is nothing but what are the fields added at the beginning of a network packet. And the basic purpose of that one is uh, it has to turn into a frame to be transmitted. So this is a header which we are going to add at the beginning of a network packet. This typically refers to an Ethernet header. So which is a predominant network access method it used today. So what it means is this is a primarily important network access method which we guys are using today. This MAC layer, it's a part of the data link layer. If you look at the OSI 7 layer architecture, there are seven layers, right? So starting from the upper one, application presentation, session, transport, network, data link layer, physical layer. So this data link layer is the second most layer of the OSI 7 layer, 7 layer architecture. So in this data link layer, we are going to find this MAC layer. So data link layer is basically broadly divided into two parts. LLC and MSC, logical link layer and MAC media access layer. So now we are going to discuss in this media access layer. So the purpose of this layer is which controls access to the physical transmission of the medium in IEEE 802.11 networks. Basically, the common MAC layer standards are of uh, two types. The first one is uh, CSMA CD, which is uh, used in the Ethernet. So, this is called uh, collision detection. CSMA CA, collision avoidance, which is used in Wi Fi. Sample MAC frame format uh, looks like this. The first one is uh, uh, this frame control duration ID like that. So if you look at that, 802.11 MAC header has uh, nine major fields. And these are like this. The first field is frame control. This is the one. Then the duration ID which is of two byte setting. Then the address one, two, four, one, two, three, and four. Okay, each of having six bytes and the sequence control, here it will come. And the cause control, here. And the final is HT control, which is of four, four byte. That is only for a zero 2.11 frames. So in this here the complete picture is there and uh, which is of how much size it's completely noted down here. If you look at the maximum size of a MAC layer, MAC header would be 36 bytes in case of 802.11n. 
in case of legacy that is uh, a b z it is of 32 bytes so here in this picture what i'm trying to show you is what are the main fields for the major fields of a mac header so here you can see this is the particularly mac header you have the duration field what the destination what is the bss id what the source and what the cost control field so everything is noted down here this is the sample capture so this frames use only three addresses fields see here if you look at this here use only three addresses in the earlier slide i told you there are four addresses right but four address field is used only when ds to ds i mean distribution system to distribution system frame exchange will happen which is nothing but by this bridge this is the capture of a ag frame here you can see it this use only one address field here you can see receiver address is only one field this is one address field so it does not have a sequence or cost control fields because cost control fields available only for cost data frames so this is not a cost data frame this is the ag frame that's the reason cost control field is not available over here so let's look at the frame control field so here it looks like this the first field of the mac address frame control field which is of uh, two bytes so not uh, all frames use all the fields that the first criteria the value assigned to the address fields may change depending on the type of mac frame being transmitted the kind of mac frame we are going to use depends upon that and depends upon that the number of address fields may vary and uh, all the wireless frames does not have the same size of mac headers each frame starts with a two byte frame control field this is a two byte control field which is again divided into 11 sub fields here which uh, we will discuss in detail in the later slides so here it starts with the protocol version type subtype to ds from ds more fragment retry power management more data protection frame order and this is basically of two bytes i mean 16 bits so here this is the size of each and every sub field two bit two bit four bits and remaining are of one bit and the first sub field is protocol version this sub field is of size uh, two bits the main purpose of this is it has to indicate which particular version of the 802.11.11 mac is contained in the rest of the frame this is always set to zero because uh, as of now only one version of 802.11 technology exists coming to the type and subtype subfield type is of 2 bits whereas subtype is of 4 bit size so using this we can identify the type of frames used there are three types of wireless frames defined in the standard and the first one is a management frame which value is 00 second one is control frame 01 third one is data frame 
that is 1 0 and the last one is 0 0 which is reserved for the future perspective the frame type is the third bit in the frame control see look at here I am going to show you in the next slide um, where the type begins the type is for the third bit and the second bit that is b3 and b2 and where is the subtype is the seventh bit followed by sixth fifth and fourth bit here you can see uh, this is the third bit and this is the second bit this is for type field and seventh bit followed by sixth fifth and fourth this is subtype field So here you can see they are the main types of this this is called management frame which is a beacon example just try to I took to capture and uh, this is a control frame which is nothing but the acknowledgement frame type this is a cause data subtype frame and this is the type is data type so data control and management this is the three types of frame If you look at the this kind of frames in detail so management frames here are the control frames and the here are the data frames management frames the bit value is 0 0 control frames is 0 1 data frames is 1 0 so here in a 2.11 protocol these are the management frames which is under use association request association response areas of request areas of response probe request probe response the beacon a team disassociation authentication do authentication so these are the values assigned to this particular package similarly for control frames power save bit rts cts etc you can see you can go through the detail of this thing as well as data frames data data plus cf pool null data all these kinds of there so here uh, is the detailed description of uh, what are the types of frames and what are the subtypes of frames under this type under, under management frame type they are the subtype frames control frames they are the subtypes deal study then the second one after that the fourth field is 2ds and from ds bits the purpose of uh, this fields are whether a frame is destined for the distribution system or not all frames of the infrastructure networks networks will have uh, one of the distribution systems bit set 2ds 2ds means this field size is of uh, one bit whenever this bit is set to one which indicates that the data frame is going from the client station to the distribution system From DS means is the reverse reverse one when it is set to one it means that the data frame is coming from the distribution system to the client system so all these two DS and from DS fields combinations are of these four types 0 0 0 1 1 0 one none. so these are used in the different different scenarios the first scenario is zero zero combination 2ds field is zero from ds is zero it means that this is a this types of combination will come into picture when it will be management or control frames where it does not go to the distribution system 
station to station communication which is a scenario in the IBSS that is the ad hoc network where data exchange will happen from a client to client. 2DS field is 0 from DS is equal to 1. It means that downstream traffic from the AP to the client station. Downstream. From the distribution system, it will come to the station. 2DS equal to 1 from DS equal to 0. Means up, upstream traffic from client station to an AP. And uh, the last one is 1-1 one, one combination. 2DS equal to 1 and from DS equal to 1. So, here the data frames use 4 address format when wireless distribution system that is uh, WDS in use like wireless bridge or mesh network. More fragments. This is of 1 bit size again. When a high level packet has been fragmented by the MAC, the initial fragment and any of the following non final fragments has to set 1. Let's say there are 10 packets. The first packet and starting from the first to up to the ninth packet, the more fragments bit has to set to 1. So if this bit this bit is set to 1 that indicate that frame which is data or management frame and of another fragment of the current MSDU or current MMPDU to follow. So it means that there is some other frame following to the first frame. If the, in the first bit, the more fragment bit is set to 1 means there is a second frame. And in the second frame, if it is also set to 1 means there is third frame to be followed. It's like that. When it will be set to 0, there is no other frame following to me. So Mac layer fragments only those frame having unicast recibo address. So it sets the fragments only to do those kind of frames where unicast receiver is there. It's never going to fragment the broadcast or multicast frames as those are going in the get the because these kinds of frames are not going to be acknowledged. Then the retry bit. So from time to time, frames may be retransmitted. Any retransmitted frames set this bit to 1 to let to know to the receiving station that it is an eliminate station in eliminating duplicate frames. The main purpose of setting this bit to 1 is that when above some receiving station will notice that set to 1 so it has to eliminate all the duplicate frames so if a retry bit if a retry bit is set to 1 in either of the management frame or data frame the tx radio is indicating that frame being sent is retransmitted if a TX station did not receive an acknowledgement for a unicast frame, the frame will be retransmitted. That is what the rule is. In couple of uh, cases, AC is not used. For example, RTS CTS frame exchange. Excessive L2 transmission impacts Wi-Fi performance. Importantly, in two ways, it increases overhead resulting decreasing throughput. If the RTS and CTS is going to increase, it will very much impact the 
throughput part and uh, impacts timely delivery of the application traffic which is voice or video services power management so what are the network adapters are built for a02.11 are often battery powered devices which is used for laptop or handheld computers you know to in order to conserve battery life many small devices have the ability to power down the parts of the network interface when a client when a client station in the power save mode it will shut down some of the transistor components for a period of time to conserve power this bit indicates whether the sender will be in power saving mode after the completion of the current atomic frame exchange so if this bit uh, sets to 1 means this is in power save mode if it indicates as a 0 means it's in active mode so here you can see in this frame this power management bit is set to 1 this is a data type frame and uh, the subtype is null data frame okay access points perform a number of important management functions and these are not allowed to save power as we see access point it will act as a server it is a it will act as a master and it has to perform so many important management functions that's the reason it is not allowed to save power so for a particular ap this bit is always set to zero non data frames are used to inform the ap about the client which is in power save mode suppose a particular client wants to go to into power save mode it will inform to the ap saying that i am going to the power save mode and it will use the null data frame that's what i showed here more data bit this is again of size 1 bit to accommodate stations in power save mode ap has to buffer the frames received from the distribution system so whenever a particular client is going to associate to an ap a particular id that is called a association identifier aid is assigned ap use this particular aid to keep track of the stations associated to the ap and the member of bss basic service station okay. ap is buffering data for a station in power save mode when ap transmits its next beacon the aid of the station will be seen in a particular field called timbit tra traffic indication map if the timbit is set to 1 means there is some traffic buffer for that particular station so when when the station receives the beacon when it will awake and it checks to see whether the particular aid is set in the time bit or not indicating buffered unique frame which is waiting in the access point so this is what uh, happens uh, here in the more data bit here you can see a station remains awake and it will send the ps full frame to the ap so here i am going to explain you this is the access point and this is the client okay 
this is a beacon which is received by the client and uh, client looked into this tim bit of the beacon this is a client is in now awake state okay if the tim bit is set for that particular client what you will do it will send a ps poll frame to the ap saying that whatever the data is buffered for me please send it to me and the ap will acknowledge after that it will start sending the packets to the client if some remaining packets are there it's going to set hey i do have more packets for you and that's the reason it will set the more data bit to one so that the client will come to know that yes still i have some more packet to receive from the ap what it will do again it will send the ps4 packet to the ap so when it will finish ap will set the data more data bit to zero and finally the station will come to know that for me there is no packet so so it will send the acknowledgement and again the client will go to the dozing state that is power set mode so that's what i'm uh, written over here the ap will send the buffered unique frame to the station you know to indicate there are more frames ap will send more data fields to one and station has to awake to receive all those frames then the protected frame protected frame here is nothing but the it is uh, secured or not that's what it means to say see the field is used to indicate whether the ms2 payload of a data frame is encrypted or not that is the main purpose of this uh, protected frame data frames here the data frames where payload is encrypted which is indicating by setting protected bit to 1 so if this protected frame is set to 1 means whatever the payload it has to transfer it will set to it will be encrypted so when client informed ap that is it it is in power save mode then ap buffer all the clients and you took 2.11 frames which we discussed all in page so here you can see so the, 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 the this is the management frame and uh, type of authentication when it is used to circuit authentication so here in this capture what i'm trying to show you is this is a management frame and uh, which is the type is authentication and here the protected flag is set to one means the data is protected okay and uh, here the data goes like that because it's encrypted already this shows that the third authentication frame which is used in the data exchange where the clear text is encrypted using web if you know the web protocol wired, wired equivalent uh, privacy uh, here there are in the open there are two types of authentications open authentication and uh, shared authentication so in the shared authentication there are four packets it's going to exchange and uh, here i captured the third packet okay if you want to uh, uh, know a little bit more about web protocol there is uh, some in the video i uploaded it you can go through it and the order bit this is set to one in any of the non qs data frame qs means quality of service so when a high level has requested that the data to be sent using a strictly order class or service which tests the receiving station the frames must be processed in order then only this bit is set to 1 and it will set to 0 for all other frames. Thank you so much guys for watching this.